Advanced ENT and Allergy has been a respected name in this area for quite some time. How would you like to be a part of the team via a clinical trial? With us now, we are joined by two doctors, Dr. Pam McCullough and Dr. Andrew Gould. Doctors, welcome and thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here. Yes, thank you. All right, before we get into these clinical trials, this is very exciting news. If you don't mind, Dr. McCullough, I'll ask you first, tell us a little bit about your role at Advanced ENT and Allergy. My role is I'm the Director of Clinical Research, and I've been here for about two and a half years. I oversee all of our clinical trials, and at this time, we're currently recruiting for about 10 trials. Um, and I, I oversee everything from startup to the clinical trials to recruitment to closeout. All right, and we will talk about that in just a minute. Uh, Dr. Gould, how about yourself? What's your area of expertise? Well, I'm one of the physicians here in the practice. I've been with, uh, with this group for uh, a little over 20 years, 20, 22 years now. Um, and uh, we started our research department, uh, I think it was 2000 was the year. So I've been here and we've been... Uh, okay, you guys teed it up very nicely for me. So Dr. McCullough, I'll ask you, tell us a little bit about this clinical research and maybe how some of our viewers can, can take part in these clinical trials. To be a part of a clinical trial, you have to be eligible. So many of the trials have a list of eligibility, inclusion, exclusion criteria. So you call into the office or perhaps you're already a patient in our office and we review your chart, your medical history, ensure that you would be qualified for safety reasons. And if qualified, then you would um, be scheduled for a visit and we would begin the process of following you through that clinical trial. And those clinical trials can be anything treating um, chronic sinusitis to um, hearing loss to tinnitus to Meniere's disease. And um, they offer treatments that otherwise are not available um, currently and on the market. This is exciting to be part of things that could really help people, maybe change their lives in a positive way. So Dr. Gold, what are, what are some of the criteria that you're looking for in participants? And maybe tell us a little bit about the benefits, the benefits for the people who do participate. Well, yeah, I think, you know, it, it, anybody can participate, uh, but, uh, you know, it has to be, it's a specific type of person that's a little bit interested in advancing science uh, because, uh, you know, there's benefits to themselves, but beyond that, there's benefit to the, you know, community and the nation as a whole. Every single medicine that we, that we use today, uh, somebody had to do a, a, a trial to make sure that it's effective and safe. And so um, people who uh, have an interest in, in, in moving medicine forward for the good of everyone, um, those are the type of people that really enjoy it. And those are the type of people we really, really like to work with. And as you said, it's really exciting to be part of new things and, uh, and, and, and be cutting edge. I think it is one of the reasons that uh, what makes advanced ENT advanced. This is one of the things that, uh, that, that we can offer. Yeah, advanced, you are what you say you are. So Dr. McCullough, tell us a little bit about the studies that advanced ENT and allergy conduct, the studies they conduct and the clinical trials that you also conduct. So currently we have an open trial for hearing loss. We have an open trial for tinnitus. We have a trial for chronic tympanic membrane perforation, which is a hole in the eardrum. We have um, a registry for INSPIRE, which is an obstructive sleep apnea trial. And we have upcoming a impaired uh, sense of smell or a complete loss of smell study. And um, we also have upcoming trials that we're looking forward to um, in sleep. So looking at obstructive sleep apnea. All right, so Dr. Gould, how can someone who's watching now say, you know, maybe they say, I'd like to be a part of this. Okay, what kind of information do they need? Where can they find inf more information? And is it a matter of filling out a form? Are they interviewed? Dr. Gould, how does it, how does it work? They should, they should check out our website, Advanced ENT and Allergy, and uh, we have a section on our website that talks about our clinical trials, and uh, that, can, um, that can give you some overall information. Certainly just come in for an appointment. You know, if you're having sinus issues, we'll, 
we, we of course we're not just doing research we're, we're treating patients every day with uh, standard of care but uh, just an appointment here in the office and we can we can talk about it we're happy to see you Dr. McCullough, I would think for both you and Dr. Gould, it, it's got to be exciting to be on the cutting edge of technology to make, as I said, a positive difference in people's lives. Is this the kind of rewarding experience that you wanted when you went to med school, when you started being in charge of these clinical trials and research? Um, absolutely, and um, I am a nurse practitioner with a, a PhD, and um, and it, there is an immense amount of value and reward in being in clinical trials. Um, you are advancing science. You are part at the very ground level of bringing medicine to the forefront, um, helping patients that otherwise have a, a treatment that's not available. It's it's amazing. I can give you a couple of examples uh, that specifically that's been very exciting for us. Um, we were, we've been involved in uh, sleep apnea surgery research for years. And when the FDA finally approved one of these new devices, we were the first practice in Kentucky uh, to do them. And so we've been you know, doing those for years now. Uh, there's another example too. We've been involved in a developing a, uh, a special uh, procedure to do ear tubes um, on children in our office without anesthesia. And that's been a 10 year plus endeavor to, to study that. And again, FDA is uh, finally approves that. And we're the, we were the first practice in Kentucky to uh, bring that to folks. So uh, those are two really exciting things to be a part of that we've been really proud of. Wow, I, I tell you, I, I have to not only uh, congratulate both of you, but thank you for bringing this kind of technology because if there, is, if there is a city in the world that needs help about research and clinical trials when it comes to ear, nose, and throat and allergies, it is definitely Louisville, Kentucky. So thank you so much for what you both bring. Again, advanced ENT and allergy. And Dr. McCullough, if people would like to participate, again, go to the website. Better yet, maybe come to an office near you, correct? Correct. Absolutely. AdvancedEntAllergy.com. All right. Again, Dr. McCullough, Dr. Gould, thank you so much for your expertise and your time. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right. Coming up here, uh, if you love to cook, if you love to get in the kitchen,